So, hello again. Another tools of the trade and something that I promised now for quite some time. And it is about uh, Winter in X-Plane 11. I don't want to make this too long because it is uh, it's, it's a simple way of getting textures replaced, um, summer textures uh, replaced with wintry textures because uh, as we know in X-Plane there are no seasons and I don't think there will be seasons very soon. Hopefully we will see some, but uh, <laughs> eventually maybe in X-Plane 11, but I somewhat doubt it. Uh, maybe it has to be X-Plane 12 before we see this. Anyway, what you see here is an example uh, of Norway. Um, normally this would be all green here, but uh, after using this mod tool, um, as you can see, we have a nice wintry look here to, to the scenery. And that's what I'm going to show you now, uh, how to do that. So, in order to do this, um, you go to the forum explain org. You need to have a uh, user account there and to, to, to be there and download files. And you look for the winter package 1.3 mod. I'm going to give you the links in the show notes. And it's a guy called Xflyer. He has created these. Um, and basically how this started is some time ago. Um, let me see, where was that? some time ago uh, let's open it here this fella started uh, to create a package called winter package and it was basically a big set of of replacement textures and uh, at the time uh, yeah it was kind of a bit of a manual process to do that but uh, there were also other means, something like uh, Simple Season, which is a script in Python. It requires the Python runtime. I used it, I had to um, tweak it a little bit for my own purposes. But uh, yeah, it was at the beginning, it was my first way of doing winter in X-Plane. And you have seen this in some of my videos. Um, and then eventually there came this other method called uh, JS uh, GME for generic uh, Mod Enabler is a tool that works on Windows and Mac and it does these replacements more automatic. And that's actually the approach that I'm using now and that's where I got it from. And the good thing about uh, Xflyer is what he did is he took his original package which wasn't really suitable for JSGME and he packaged it in a more suitable way. I'm getting a little bit mixed up here with my Oh, with my pages. Oh, yeah, I think I have to jump back here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so in the winter package mod, he, he actually did rearrange his, his replacement textures so that it is compatible with the generic mod enabler. And that is a great thing because it means that it's much easier for us to use it. And he just recently did an update 21st of December. Uh, so it is quite uh, quite new. Uh, don't get uh, distracted by 1.2. The text hasn't changed, but it, it, there has been an update um, the, to this package. And as you can see, it is something around the Photosenu Autogen um, to fit for a particular uh, scenery work, XP Fliegers. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. Now, so what you do is First of all, you download this file. This is a large zip file, a couple of, I think it's a couple of hundred megabytes, um, 200 or so. So it's quite a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, quite important also, if you are in X-Plane 11, not when you're X-Plane 10, but if you are in X-Plane 11, you need to also get this package, which is an update package. And what it does is, um, it's by it's by XP Flieger, so it's the guy obviously who's done the other scenery. Um, he has actually created some uh, uh, some amendments that help make this look better in X Plane 11 because X Plane 11 has new textures, and as you can see, we have green gardens here uh, in a wintry language uh, in, lang in a <laughs> wintry landscape. And uh, that's what they what they do. They have done replacements and they put them into the package. You need to get this. Um, you need to get this downloaded as well. Now I'm wondering. Um, I am actually wondering now because 1.3 came out very 
very recently and I'm not sure now if this change and this change are sort of somewhat um, obsolete but as he hasn't taken it out of the description I just put it in anyway and it works okay so get if you're explaining 11 get that package as well down here and uh, now the third thing you need and that is quite important you need this generic mod enabler JSGME now, it is a bit of a strange program because uh, it wasn't actually easy to find you, you go on the Google and you, you look um, so what we have here is generic mod enabler JSGME and this is our, in the context of a design mod project uh, so they I don't think they have written JSGME but they're using it for Silent Hunter and as you can see JSGME is a very uh, generic um, is a very generic tool that just allows you to replace things files basically in a, in a game by making a backup and uh, giving you the option of doing certain modifications to something and we are going to use this capability um, by uh, for, for our explain and that's basically it now uh, I've downloaded it from here it looked like a reasonably gen um, genuine site uh, I found some other sources where I wasn't so sure so I didn't touch it um, but this looks reasonably okay uh, just make sure um, wherever you get it from run your your virus check and stuff like that okay um, but this looks okay to me and so far I haven't really seen that there has been any trouble with this but um, uh, I don't think these guys have done this so this is just a site where you can download it from no. okay um, yeah that's it so you have the package and what you do now is you kind of unpack uh, the zip files and uh, the first you start with the JSGME basically what you do is you place the JSGME exe file uh, that comes in the package here in your root explain 11 folder okay and then you run it for one time and basically what it does then is it creates a mods folder and that mods folder will be empty at the beginning um, it's not empty here anymore because I've put in some mods and that has the JSGME program set up for you next step is that you unpack your winter 1.3 mod don't mind these other ones these are additional files that I created uh, by, for using the same tool winter 1.3 mod put all the files um, in here and basically what you get here is this structure okay and this is corresponding to your explain 11 folder structure so don't mess around there don't change things and quite important I would make a backup um, for example of these two folders uh, or maybe of the whole explain folder you should do that anyway from time to time you should if ideally you should take a copy of your explain folder on an external hard drive or something like that uh, that is something that um, can save <laughs> save your ass <laughs> from from having to do everything from scratch again but uh, it's up to you uh, so at least make a backup of stuff that you're going to modify and uh, it's quite easy to see what you modify because basically it's your custom scenery folder so you could uh, make a, a backup of that up to you though um, and what you can see is it basically follows the structure of things in the, your explain folder and these are now wintry textures that replace the summary textures in in your standard explain uh, libraries or in your standard explain folders like resources resources is a system folder and it replaces the auth orbit textures with something else so you can see how it works it replicates the folder structure of your explain and it replaces files that it finds in this folder structure on the lowest level here okay and that's basically what it does and it makes up it makes a backup of all the files it replaces but again um, it's up to you but I would have a copy of explain before I mess around with this I do just in case it nothing has happened but uh, you know better safe than sorry right um, if you're an explain 11 user like me 
Don't forget to put in the second package, same thing, it's a zip file with the same structure and it replaces some files here in custom, possibly in custom or in resources, I can't remember. So if you're an explain folder uh, user, have this, have both packages installed into this folder so that you are explain 11 compatible. And that's about it. As I say, don't mind the other ones. Um, but they are built similarly, like Trevor does is, uh, pro provides a, a winter uh, texture set and what I did is I kind of set it up uh, to have a winter version of the, the scenery and it will replace the summer version of the whole scenery um, when I enable the mod so that we have uh, winter in, in Tromsø. So I did that myself, for example. And also Aerosoft with Sjolbart and, and and Bergen and uh, Oslo and on these places, it, uh, it uh, they provide winter textures and you can rearrange them the same way. See how they do that, okay? And uh, the mod tool will actually make sure that things are replaced and also recovered again. And then all you need to do is you start that program. You start that program, um, <laughs> had already, <laughs> and uh, what you see here is available mods. So in your case, you would probably only see this here, right? And the activated mods. And in order to activate winter in X-Plane, you just press that button here and then you wait. Because what it does now is it makes a backup of all the files that it's going to um, replace. That'll take some time. And then it's copying the, the replacement textures and stuff over. And when it's done, you see it is activated. Now you can start explain and you have winter, like you see here on this, um, this screenshot. And if you don't want to use it anymore, you select it and you bring it back. And now it replaces everything again as it was before you activated it and your package is deinstalled. Important, if you make changes to your, to your mods or if you want to update Xplain, first disable all the mods. Okay, because we have files in there that are not standard and it is it's not good if you run your update, like the next update when it comes out, don't have the mods activated. So make sure that you have deactivated all your mods before you start updating Xplain. And also if you make changes to the, to the mod itself, to the package, to the files, first deactivate the mod. It's important because you might mess things up if you start uh, changing things, although you have it already activated. This is just a hint, don't forget. And again, up to you, but make backups if possible. And that's it, that's about it, that's all it is. Um, very simple, uh, once you have set it up, and it is not really difficult, and read also the instructions that come with uh, the winter mod package and on, on the forum page, um, I don't think you should have big difficulties getting this to work. And if you have made yourself a backup, uh, even if you m manage to get it kind of, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can always go back with your backup. And quite important, before you make any changes, deactivate the mods. I cannot only I can only tell you this uh, repeatedly because uh, you can mess things up if you if you don't. Right, and that's it. I hope that uh, helps and gives you a nice winter in Explain. Until next time.